everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed some of the last vids that I've uh, put out there. Uh, if you have a chance to check them out, please do so and leave me any feedback or comments or like and share them. That's awesome too. Really appreciate that. And I just want to address um, coming back to Mexico. For some of you that don't know my story, you can go and I'll have the link below to my video, my impossible video, and you can kind of learn a little bit about my backstory, about, you know, uh, what I've been through. And to sum up some things, uh, I did, I used to live in Mexico, and, you know, I was married to someone else, and this person died in a motorcycle accident uh, in Mexico, and it was... It was a very tragic death. It was very traumatic. Uh, I had PTSD and, you know, I wasn't eating for a long time. I was medicating myself constantly to numb the pain and, you know, I went through a really big healing process. I, you know, did ayahuasca. I seeked out a really well-respected uh, medium and I went, you know, and really just took a lot of time to heal myself through a lot of meditation as well. So I really just had to get myself right. I had a lot of pain, a lot of unanswered questions, and you know, what was once a really beautiful place came to be really dulled um, because of what I went through. And I decided to stay in Mexico, you know, on my, on my tourist visa. So I went back to Canada, you know, for the allotted time that I had to be back and I would come back to Mexico but I decided to stay in Mexico and, you know, ride out my healing there. Why not, right? I'm with the ocean and, you know, I just had a chance to just to be by myself and heal. And after I was done healing, that's where, you know, Sean came back into my life, you know, after we had first met back in 2010. And, you know, it just, things just headed off and all of a sudden Mexico was turned into the birthplace of our love story. And for me, that's why now returning to Mexico, we leave tomorrow. And, you know, I've got so many feelings inside of me, but mainly it's, you know, those feelings of gratefulness and connecting the dots and just being really happy with, you know, the universe for taking care of me and providing me answers um, you know, in my darkest hour. And that's why, you know, some people are like, well, is it going to be awkward for you to go back to Mexico, namely Cancun? You know, um, that was where, you know, um, my late husband and I got married was in Cancun. But for me, you know, people... I'm just going to come out and say it because, you know, I haven't really spoke to this. In a, in a long time, you know, a few of my very, very, very close friends know this, but to be in all fairness, you know what, that was a totally different type of relationship. And, you know, it was a relationship that probably shouldn't have gone as far as getting married. And even to the point where we did get married in Mexico, but we never actually had the chance to make it a legal marriage. We just had one of those tourist destination weddings where they just give you the piece of paper and you're on your way. So, you know, it wasn't on paper, but I mean, it also wasn't a relationship where we shouldn't have got married. We learned a lot from each other. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about him, but it was like the universe, there was a bigger plan, bigger than the both of us. And, you know, I believe, you know, he was here on this earth for his time and for the lessons and the learning that he had to go through. And, you know, I still had to keep going because there was a different plan for me too. Uh, you know, and there was many times that, you know, I wanted to, you know, end my life because of the pain and the suffering that I was going through. But it was something that I pushed forward on. And that's horrible, you know, regardless um, whether or not we should have got married, we spent, you know, six years of our life together. And, 
you know, it, it sucked, obviously, at the time. Someone dies, tragically, and, you know, it's everything that you know, and it's your whole world at the time. But the way everything played out with, you know, the healing and the universe and the relationship that I have with Sean now, I know now, you know, the, the standard and the level of what, um, you know, a marriage should be and what a relationship should be and, you know, and it's not that I'm taking this time to speak horrible about, you know, my late husband, so don't get me wrong there, but I really want, you know, people are like, oh, you're so lucky to find true love twice and personally for me, you know, that was a relationship in all honesty that we should have been just friends from the get-go and you know and we stuck together for as long as we did for me going back to mexico is a celebration of you know the future that was forged for me because of connecting the dots of what happened in the past to what was still yet to be played out for my future and it's incredible for me to look back and just think of how everything you know ended up playing out and how Sean came into my life and all of the cool signs that happened along the way. And I'm going to allude to, you know, some of this stuff, but I mean, right now in the video, because I just kind of want to just set the, set the record straight with some things, but uh, that's going to be something that's going to be more that I'm going to speak to in my book that I'm, gonna, that I'm writing and I'm going to have, you know, published. So, you know, I'm going to save, you know, everything to go into detail and really get into my story then because I could talk a lot about <laughs> the, um, you know, the whole span of things from, you know, being in Vancouver, being in Winnipeg and being in Mexico and now being in Omaha. It's been quite a trip, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to being back in Mexico. And for me now, it is not the, the end of a past life it is a celebration of like I said with you know the love of Sean and I our birthplace of our love story and coincidentally you know we are going there for our friend's wedding and I'm so excited that they chose Cancun to get married in because it is so beautiful there and honestly uh, it's actually right close to mine and Sean's anniversary of when he came to Mexico so this story has so much meaning to me. This trip, rather, has so much meaning to me as well, not only um, because we get to celebrate with our good friends, but um, just between Sean and I, it's going to be a little celebration for us too. So I'm gonna be taking some videos of Mexico and I'm gonna be having that uh, ready for you guys in the upcoming video. But yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. And I also wanted to share some news too really fast. I will not be competing this summer and I probably won't be competing in the fall. Business is going really well for Social Empire and I'm excited just to put all of my focus and energy into building the company and also Sean and I are going all in with Rock Solid Nutrition and you know we're really pushing forward with Rock Solid and you know what, no rest for the wicked so there's not going to be any time for competing and focusing my energy and on that so that's going to be shelved and the money is going to be going into more seminars more learning more of just building the brand so really excited for that and you know what the stage will be there so just want to share that with you guys i've been getting asked that of course competition season starting to come up so i just want to lay that out there too while i'm at it laying it all out for y'all so Thank you for tuning in and of course don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave me some feedback. I always love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks for tuning in.